Hello, welcome to another session on linear equation in one variable. We have been previously taking up questions and learning how to solve linear equation in one variable. This session we begin with the word problems wherein we'll be converting the statements given in form of an equation and then we solve it. And with that, let me just write down the first question. A number is such that it is as much greater than 84 as it is less than 108. Find it. That means we have to find that number. So we'll just write, let me take that number which is supposed to be calculated as x. So let the number be x. Now it says this number is greater than 84. So how much is this greater than 84? It will whatever is uh, this number which is x we have taken minus 84 is this number greater than 84. It is also less than 108. Now, how much is it less than 108 is 108 minus x. But these are, it says it is as much greater. So, these two are equated. It is as much smaller than 108 as it is greater than 84. See, getting this equation correct for all the word problems is the important step. Then you would just carry on with the solution wherein I'll get x to the left and carry on 84 to the right thereby making this so 108 and 84 is 192 or we get x as 192 by 2 that's giving me 86 uh, 96 that means x is 96 this 96 is as much smaller than 108 as much it is greater than 84 hence the number is 96 i carry on with another question in the next screen again i'll take the time to write it first a number That consists of a number consists of consists of two digits. When we write a two digit number, there is always a unit place and a tens place. That plays an important part here. If eight is added to the number, it's digits are reversed find the number now when we are talking about a two digit number suppose this is a two digit number wherein you have unit place and a tens place so if i am assuming this to be unit place or the ones place to be x as because the sum of the two digits given to be 8, the other one will be 8 minus x. That means what is the number formed with? Number formed is in the tens place it is 8 minus x. So it is 10 multiplied to 8 minus x plus 1 multiplied to x that would give you x because 1 means unit place. This is the number that makes if I open it I'm getting it as 80 minus 10 X plus X that's 80 minus 9 X not necessarily that you carry X always at the unit place if you are taking X at the tens place that 8 minus X goes on to become here in the ones place in that case you multiply the 10 with x because that becomes the 10th place. Now, this is the number. It says if 8 is added to the number, that means 
if I'm adding 80 minus 9x, wait, I'm writing it here in, in text. If I'm writing 80 minus 9x plus 8, what happens? It says the digits are reversed. Now, if I reverse the digits, and here again I'll write it. If I reverse the digits, that means x comes to 10's place and 8 minus x goes on to the unit place, right? So what happens again? Here, the number becomes then, I write it again. <coughs> Sorry. It will be 10 multiplied to x because that's in the 10's place plus 1 multiplied to 8 minus x. That becomes the new number. So it is 10x plus 8, sorry this has an x here, minus 8, so that becomes 9x plus oh, 8, 9x plus 8 and that we will be substituting here because it says, is the, this is according to the question now, this is actually equal to 9x plus 8 here. Yeah. We will simply solve this as equation. So I will carry minus 9x, then we'll get this 9x to the left. And then on the left it is 88, that will be carried to the right. Did I make any mistake here? No. Okay, it says the number is not 8. I think the number is... Oh, I made a mistake here writing if 18 is added to the number I made is 8. That is now I'm rectifying this. I'll just be writing it here again. If 8 is not added, it says if 18 is added. And so I'll write 18 here. Now, if I'm doing so, I have 18 already in the right. I'll carry 80 plus 8 on the LHS to the right. That makes it 18 minus 88. Here, you put one more and then I write OK. Now, minus 9x minus 9x would give us some 18x. So, minus 18x. is equal to I think it is oh again I made the same mistake right so yeah this was not supposed to be changed actually this was supposed to be made 18 because 18 was added I got it wrong again here so that was 8 as it is so it is 8 minus 98 supposed to be if I'm carrying that 8 minus 98 that's giving me minus 90 so x becomes minus 90 minus 90 upon minus 18 and 18 5 is that. so we write x is equal to 5 now, if x is equal to 5, we had taken this our original number. If you see, this was our original number wherein we had taken unit place to be 8. So, now our number 5 is here in the unit place. So, 8 minus 5, that is 3, will be in the tens place. The number is 35. This is our answer. Let's move on with another question. I'll just write down. The numerator of a fraction is 4 less than the denominator. If 1 is added, to both its new marita and denominator denominator it becomes 
1 by 2. We have to find the fraction. Let's now move on to solve this question. The numerator of a fraction is 4 less than the denominator. As it is expressed, this numerator is expressed in terms of denominator. Let us assume the denominator to be first x. So let the denominator to be x. If the denominator is x, the numerator is 4 less. So the numerator becomes numerator becomes x minus 4 because it is already informed that it is x minus 4. I mean 4 less. Now if 1 is added to both its numerator and denominator. So now the fraction would look like x minus 4 by x. Right? So if 1 is added to both its numerator. So let me add 1 in the numerator and the denominator as well. This makes the fraction 1 by 2. Simply go with what the statement says and you will reach your answer. We will now be solving this. So the numerator has now become x minus 3 by x plus 1 equals 1 upon 2. We will cross multiply this. I will just use the space on the other side to write. Yeah. So it is 2x minus 3 plus 1 x plus 1 so if you remove the bracket you will be getting 2 x minus 6 equals x plus 1 let us carry this x to the other side thereby making it 1 plus 7 so it is x is equal to 7 now we had assumed r fractions numerator and denominator to be this so our denominator is 7 and the numerator was x minus 4 so it is 7 minus 4 that is 3 so the new the fraction in question was 3 by 7 we now move on to another question which is an age-based question so i like to write it again it says Sorry, Kanwar is three years older than Amrita. Six years ago, this converse converse age was four times Amrita's age. Find the, oh sorry, find the age of this Kanwar and Amrita. I think I better spell it as Kanwar. Now, as because we have to find their present ages and Amrita's age, uh, sorry, Converse age is represented in terms of Amrita, will be take Amrita's age as x. We'll write, let Amrita's age be x. That's a present age, right? Now, so Converse will be So, converse age will be 3 years older than um, the Amrita. So, he will be x plus 3 years. Okay. I forgot to write years there against Amrita as well. Hmm. So, 6 years ago, what would have been Amrita's age? So, here I am writing about 6 years ago. Right. 6 years ago, I am sure... Convert, sorry, Amrita was x minus 6, the whole of, here I can just put a bracket, 
This was Amrita six years ago. This is also in years. But it says Kamar's age. So in that case, what would have been Kamar's age if Kamar is now x plus 3? He then must have been, this is Kamar 6 years ago. Whatever his present age, that is x plus 3 minus 6. That if we uh, remove the bracket, it gives me x plus 3 minus 6. So that is equal to x minus 3. So this is Kamar's age six years ago. Now this age is four times Amrita's age. So the equation we get will be four times Amrita's x age, that is x minus six, is equal to x minus three, and this is Kamar's age. Because if you read the statement here, it says Kamar's age was four times Amrita's age. Find the age of Kamar and Amrita. So we will now be solving it by removing the bracket. It's 4x, this is minus 24, is equal to x minus 3. So if you carry this to the left, this becomes minus 3 plus 24. So this is 3x is equal to 21 so x is equal to 21 by 3 and that giving us 7 so we had assumed Amrita's age to be x so Amrita is 7 years and cover is 3 years older so cover will be 10 years hope you followed it we'll take more such questions in the next few sessions thank you